All right, for this problem, uh, we're gonna solve for the absolute value inequality. Now, remember, absolute value is gonna be your total distance, like when we talk about on a number line, our total distance uh, from a given point. It doesn't matter which direction we go, if we go to the left or to the right, we still moved a distance, and that's gonna be what your absolute value is. So here, when we're talking about absolute value, we can say that if I go my regular distance, let's say it's just z minus 13 equals 21, or if I go in the negative distance, either way, I'm still going to um, have an absolute, I'm still going to have an answer of 21. So what are my two, what are my two values that I could obtain for, uh, uh, what are my two values that would make my absolute value uh, to still be 21? So here, I'll just add a 13, and I get z equals 24. And over here, I get a negative z plus 13 equals 21. Subtract 13, I get negative z equals uh, uh, positive 8. Divide by negative 1, z equals a negative 8. That means if I use the value of 24 or my value of negative 8, and I plug them in for z, I would still get the absolute value that's going to give me 21. 